Okay, so today we're going to show you how we can take this and make it into something really GQ. So as you see, he's got a lot of long, his hair grows very long, very quickly. Because I did this, what, three weeks ago, right? I did this three weeks ago. And I know that I trimmed them very, very well three weeks ago. So, um, yeah, his hair grows really fast. So we're going to do a pretty good shape because he's changing his hairstyle. And so we're going to make the brows appropriate for the hairstyle that he's getting. But still keeping it... manly just more of a model a, a male model he has a lot of volume in his brows so I'm not concerned with trimming the hairs too short because he has so much volume gonna get rid of this one that's going crazy so the key here is to move quickly so that the sensitivity of the tweezing is not as much when the hair is very thick and coarse like this, when you tweeze it, you can feel it a lot more. So most of your grays are up in here and up in here, which is good because we're getting rid of that part. So that's good. I have the skin uh, stretched pretty good. The more that you stretch the skin, again, the less that you're going to feel it. All right, let's bring this in a little more here. He showed me a picture of the hairstyle that he's doing and the brows on this person that had the hairstyle he, he, that he can do because he has so much volume here. It's gonna be a whole new look. So this looks really good. I'm gonna get this lined up here. Again, I'm stretching the skin pretty tightly. His sinuses are gonna to start to activate because remember you have sinuses that run through the forehead. I'm gonna do a shout out to the studio salon because that's who will be doing his hair. Madison will be doing his hair at the studio salon here on Colorado, and um, they do amazing work. Very cutting edge, very knowledgeable. Filled with education. They do a nice consult. And then they model that I'm using right now is Travis and he is our massage therapist here at the spa and 
He is here every Tuesday, Wednesday, and every other Friday and Saturday he switches off. And the only reason that we get to do this right now is because his last client had to move out of that slot. So we are taking advantage of this free time that we never seem to have. A lot of times, the longer the brow is down this way, the, the older it makes you look because it draws the eye down instead of lifting it up. So we're just gonna clean some of this up here. Now, as I trim and then I release, I try to see what's gonna come up that's gonna end up sticking up on him. And again, he has so much volume that I'm not worried about removing. Men's brows are not easy to do because you don't want to go crazy and make them feminine, but yet you don't want them to be grandpa brows either. One hair that's going to poke up and I know it is. So we went from this to this. There's a significant change. That is quite significant and it still looks I'm just not crazy about this right here so we don't want to go again we don't want to take too much but that point uh, that there's a there's a, a point I want to just soften that down a little bit so it's not so much of an aggressive look. Because there's really nothing aggressive about this person. Other than his freaking deep tissue massage. a little better. I do you want to So a lot of times when we do brow shaping and that's really what this is we're going to come back and we're just going to get rid of a lot of this little peach fuzz. Just give it that finished polish look. Some people say, well, why don't you wax it? Well, look at the great work we can do without waxing, without putting that heat on your skin. And we use the best wax there is. However, if you don't have to, why, why would we bother?
just what I'm doing is I'm looking at an angle to see if I missed anything sticking up. Now, some people say you're supposed to start down at this and work your way forward. You know, I find that as long as the brows come out great, does it really matter where you start? I mean, that never made sense to me, but what do I know? And I'm constantly looking at both. So what I'm looking at, I'm looking from here down. Now on women, you wanna go in more, but on a male, you can get away with just slightly uh, out um, because he's changing his hairstyle and the whole bit next week, we wanna make sure that we do this slight and then we can adjust once the hairstyle is done, we can adjust moving forward. So that is a male customized brow shaping, and uh, and when you as you see at the end, um, I applied SPF. So we always make sure that we put SPF on anything that we do. Uh, especially, I removed a lot of hair, so um, that area is protected. He's already got SPF on the rest of his face, so he is completely protected, and he has new brows and ready for his new hairstyle. So that is a male customized brow shaping. And again, uh, we're here for anything that you need. We do uh, nose wax, hair, uh, ear hair removal for men. Our men's facials are incredible. So we go everything, over everything with a fine tooth comb. So men's brows, a lot different than female brows, obviously. And uh, we make sure we try to pluck the grays if you have um, a lot of volume in your hair so that it can make up for the space that we remove. Um, grays, thick grays cannot be tinted. So we wouldn't have tinted his brows because the gray wouldn't have picked up on the, the tint anyway. But there are times when we do tint male brows for sure, especially on uh, the blonder hairs to give them a volume. So have a great day. I hope you enjoyed the video.